there's a lot of lessons to take away from a failed project. I think one of the, the highest level ones that I've taken is simply types of projects that are more difficult than others. Um, certainly in working with data, one of the real challenges that I've found is that I want to give people unique data that they may not have access to. And I found this to be a really, really hard challenge. So some of the projects that I've abandoned are ones where I couldn't actually succeed at getting really high quality, really unique data. And so it's easier sometimes to maybe take that chunk that you've been, you've been trying to capture but have been having problems with and say, I'm gonna work on this other side. Like, I'm just gonna work on the visualization problem and not on both visualization and getting really interesting data. And that's where I am today. The appeal of data is as a way of uh, describing the world. I, I started working with it because I wanted a way of having my own content, but I didn't feel capable of either writing nonfiction or fiction or doing research. And this was something that was at my fingertips. I had complete access to it. And now I've come to see that everything can be described as data. And it's this really, it's like a shorthand for the world. It's a really quick way of describing actions. And then it allows you to kind of rehydrate it into you know, all these different forms and graphics that are really compelling and expressive.